The Israeli regime has ordered an immediate halt to fuel deliveries bound for the blockaded Gaza Strip as of Friday. Israel's Minister for Military Affairs, Avigdor Lieberman, said the decision has been made in response to what he described as attacks against Israeli soldiers. The controversial decision came only hours after Israeli soldiers killed seven peaceful protesters in the Gaza Strip and injured scores of people who were taking part in the weekly March of Return rallies east of the enclave. Halting fuel shipments to the Gaza Strip will have dire consequence on the lives of nearly two million Palestinians. It will also cause major disruptions to the provision of vital services, including electricity, water supply, and the health sector. The Israeli decision to halt fuel shipments to the Gaza Strip is a premediated move to further increase the suffering for the people of Gaza. We call on the international community to take concrete steps to end these grave Israeli violations and protect the people of Gaza. Israel has repeatedly sealed Gaza's crossings and halted fuel shipments in recent months to force Palestinians in Gaza into stopping the Great March of Return rallies. Lieberman believes that he can extort the Palestinians uh, uh, by blocking the entry of fuel and food into the Gaza Strip, and he is making that conditional on the uh, stop of uh, the Palestinian march of return and breaking the siege, which has been going on for more than six months. The Israeli blockade in place since 2007 has taken its toll on all aspects of life in the impoverished enclave and increased poverty and unemployment. The Gaza Strip has repeatedly been described as the world's largest open-air prison. Two-thirds of the population in Gaza depend on aid. The Israeli regime has intensified its punitive measures against Palestinians in the past two years, enjoying an all-out support from the new U.S. administration. People in the blockaded coastal enclave have been grappling with severe fuel shortage as a result of Israel's inhumane policies. The decision to halt fuel shipments will only make things worse. Ashraf Shannon, Press TV Gaza.